I start today's video, you will see that I'm wearing a inauguration shirt, <clears throat> excuse me, from um, the 45th uh, president's inauguration, which is Donald John Trump. In no shape, in no way, shape, or form am I um, supporting him or bashing him. Um, the shirt I wore was just simply from my inauguration. I wanted to point that out to me. It doesn't matter if you are um, Democrat or more liberal or if you're a Republican or more conservative. We need to all work together to fight for an amazing country and keep our country safe and protected. I just wanted to point that out that I'm not supporting um, Trump in a way wearing that shirt. I'm not trying to force Trump views on you. Um, I just wore that shirt because I attended his inauguration. Whether or not I care for him as a president is a different story, but I just wanted to let you guys know that so you don't feel like I'm pushing my political views on you. Um, I think Trump has his flaws and I think Trump has his good things, just like every other person on this in this earth has good things and bad things, strengths and weaknesses. So I wanted to let you guys know that before we jump into today's video. But anyways, I hope you enjoy and we'll get started. <music> It's Maddie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and today's non-diabetes video <clears throat> Excuse my voice. I'm still suffering from some sort of allergies or something um, I'm going to be sharing with you some pretty cool things that I just got enrolled in here I am a member of my local American Legion auxiliary or auxiliary. I don't know how people pronounce it I've heard it pronounced both ways um, in my local area in my local unit and uh, I just joined um, about three and a half weeks ago, and I'm super excited to be a part of this. And basically, it's a ladies' legion. So back in 1919, the American Legion was originally founded with veterans, like particularly the men that served um, in World War One. And eventually, the women wanted to help out with helping get funds for them and provide and care for them and give them, you know, as many benefits as they can have because obviously veterans do deserve a lot of um, give back and respect because they do sacrifice a lot serving especially during wartime and this is what the ladies wanted to do they help with like I said giving them the support they needed and we're coming up on a hundred years here which is pretty cool that the whole entire like American Legion Auxiliary is coming up on a hundred years and this is across the whole entire United States of America each state has its own district and each like town or city kind of um, I'm part of a town um, has their own unit. Obviously, I can't say what unit I'm from because that would obviously give away my location, um, exact location, and I'm going to disclose that and keep that um, tucked away for privacy and safety concerns as usual, and I'm pretty sure you all respect that. But anyways, what kind of stuff do we do in my unit? Um, if you are from the United States of America, you probably will be seeing poppies being promoted around um, your area. That is part of us. We sit and donate our time to distribute poppies or promote poppies and collect donations for veterans. It all supports veterans' uh, funds, whether it's to send things to veterans who need um, medical equipment or veterans who are in need of home care or veterans that are in need of this or that. Um, we clip coupons, manufacture coupons out of newspapers and send them overseas to actively deployed people in like Europe or Asia, sometimes even like Africa, uh, depending on where we can send it to. So any of those people that are overseas that need um, some extra uh, savings, we can send manufacturer coupons that are up to six months expired, which is super duper cool. We often will uh, work together and make fundraisers. For example, my unit is doing a golf outing on June 1st, and any of the proceeds that we sell in tickets, raffles, and from the golf teams are all pretty much going to... Um, I should say it's going to the veterans. Um, there's a little bit that's taken out from the actual golf course because obviously they're providing like stuff, but they're giving us like 80, I believe it's like 80% of the proceeds are going right to us or 85. It's really, it's a big number. They, they didn't really take a lot. Um, and that just goes all in a fund and we distribute that as we need to. Um, like I said, like I said, it's all ladies and, um, yeah. So, so far I've participated in like the poppy distributing, I've decorated my church with memorial, um, memorial, um, memorial Day type theme with the American flags. Um, we wear red on Fridays typically, and if you wear, I have a magnetic pin here. It's actually a little pin like comes apart like this. This is what the symbol looks like. And then all I have to do is when I want to wear this, 
I take this metal piece and go under and clip this on and it's on my shirt and it is good to go. If I wear red on Fridays plus do this, it adds up for community service hours. Anytime I clip coupons, decorate things, promote copies, talk to veterans, help a veteran, um, uh, mail cards overseas, send pack care packages for members that are, are actively deployed members overseas. Anything I could do to help a veteran or a veteran that will eventually become one after they're done being active is all towards my community service and it's all towards me um, obviously, like I said, giving of my time. And so why did I join? Um, because I always, I guess, was interested in, in this, in a guess of a way. It's a very historical thing. It's very, um, a way to work around with people. It's a way to, um, uh, like I said, give of your time, give your generosity, um, and give back to people that truly deserve it. Because to me, veterans, no matter who they are, deserve the best because they, have defended our country they've given up their time and sacrificed other times that they could have spent with their family their friends themselves so that we can have a safe and protected country um i see a lot of vietnam vets all around i see some korean vets i've even some seen some world war ii vets that i have talked to um and obviously there's a lot more from like the persian war the persian gulf war and all these more recent ones that were in the middle east like iraq and iran and in Syria, the, those people will be coming up soon where they're going to be coming home and um, when all that, uh, when all their, um, the fighting ends or when they are, their term is up or their time is up to be done serving. But the, the way you get into this is you have to have a family member um, that is either living or deceased that was in one of the uh, wars. So my grandfather who passed away when my mother was 10, so I never met my grandfather, served in the Korean War in the Navy, so that is how I ended up joining the Legion. As a matter of fact, he was in the same um, Legion area that I was in, except that it's separated. The auxiliary is only for women, and the Legion post is for men. So, like, we call our group a unit, they call theirs a post. So, that is how you get into the American Legion Auxiliary, um, if you were a veteran, a male veteran particularly, you go to the post. And I believe there are specific ones for Legion posts for females that are veterans um, that were in the military. And um, then there's even the Sons of the American Legion, which is for sons or males of the descendants of someone from the posts. So um, you pay a membership. Like I said, you end up, like I said, you donate your time to help veterans um, and keep Keep the respect and the positivity going with veterans and helping them because, like I said, they deserve the most. They deserve everything. Um, they deserve the world because, to me, that is one of the most ultimate sacrifices is to serve in the military because it's not easy. Um, you're basically commanded to do what you're going to do. You have to go through boot camp. You have to pick what branch you're going to be in. And wherever they decide to deploy you to, if you're on active duty, you have no choice. Um, and you've got to be able to follow rules and... You are very limited to what you can and can't do for certain things. Now there are growth and career and stuff in the military. Um, however, like I said, the, the military is definitely a tough job to be in. It is tough to be a part of the military. And um, especially those that have served in the wars during active time and have been on the front lines and have gotten shot at and deal with things like PTSD and any type of other mental disorders, they deserve the world and they deserve our respect and um, our appreciation and it just makes me appreciate on a deeper level how safe and lucky I am to be living in such an amazing country and any little thing I can do to give back to them is amazing um you know I like I said as religious as I am too I also pray for veterans continuously um to give them peace and to give them support and hope that they can get the things that they need um like I said we do care packages we can send letters we cut coupons we promote poppies um, and stuff like the, Le the Legion posts, actually, they, they're the ones that go around to like funerals of people that have passed away that want the military rights and they'll do like the gun salute. That's what is often at cemeteries too on Memorial Day. There is a little memorial service typically and the Legion post with the men do that, but you often will see the auxiliary ladies like myself there promoting poppies or just being there for support. Um, so it's kind of women supporting men 
and then in turn the men work with the women. So we're separate, but yet we have to try to work together to achieve commonality and achieve goals for um, here in our local area and throughout the United States. So whatever little bit I do in my area, because I am part of a local area, I get an, I impact people locally, but I also impact people across my district, across the state, and across the nation, which is extremely cool. So it's a way to become involved more in the governmental side of things, um, the history side of things of the United States, and to become involved with Americanism and patriotism and just to support um, the country I live in. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video as to something that I am a part of, and I wanted to share this part of my life with you. So um, consider if you are a lady and you have a direct descendant that is either passed away or still a living that was part of like World War II, Korea, Vietnam, any of the more recent Persian Gulf Wars, um, I think even up to World War One, if you had a descendant that was um, that was in the military during World War One, doesn't matter what branch, consider joining your local American Legion unit if you are a lady, if you are a male and you are a veteran, consider joining the American Legion post. And if you are the son of a veteran, consider joining the sons of the uh, American Legion. And if you are a lady veteran, I believe there is a specific post for that too. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. I post videos every week about my diabetes life plus more. And um, until tomorrow for another video, take care, God bless, be kind, spread positivity, and be thankful. Bye. Everybody.